Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a locus problem. We've done some locus problems before. In other words, we're going to try to find the z values, the set of z values that satisfy this type of equation. Okay, so z is a complex number needless to say and we're going to find z's such that the absolute value of z minus i is the same as the absolute value of zi. Obviously, we've done problems like this before without the absolute value. This would be, you know, a typical problem that you can solve for z and very easily. And I believe I've done this problem and similar problems. And, uh, you know, you can do this problem in more than one way. Anyways, that's a different story. We're going to go ahead and solve this problem that contains absolute values. The approach is the same. We're going to replace z with a plus bi because that's the name of this channel. Not just because it's the name of the channel, but that's a good method. So if you do that, you're going to get a plus bi minus i and a plus bi multiplied by i. Let's go ahead and simplify each one. First of all, we can put together the imaginary parts here to make the absolute value easier. And on the right hand side, we are supposed to distribute but bi times i is bi squared, which is negative b, and then ai is just going to be ai. Not artificial intelligence, it's just the a n b kind of reversed, and then the b is negated. We'll talk about the meaning in another approach. And by the way, did I tell you I'm going to present two approaches, and this is the first one. Okay? All right, cool. Now, let's go ahead and proceed. We're going to use the definition of the absolute value, the square root of the real part squared, plus the imaginary part squared. By the way, if you're new to complex numbers, make sure to check out the lecture video series that I made. I think I made about nine videos that talk about the basics of complex numbers. And by, uh, by the way, I'm planning to make more lecture videos on additional topics and probably more advanced topics. Anyways, so negative b squared is just b squared plus a squared. By the way, if you take a complex number, anyways, let me not talk about that because it's too early. So, let's go ahead and square both sides. The square roots cancel out, right? And then we end up with a squared. And let's go ahead and expand this. b squared minus 2b, or not 2b, allow me to make that joke once in a while, right? Equals b squared plus a squared. All right, so a squared plus b squared cancels out. Very nice. This is super simple. Now add 2b, and then you're going to get 2b equals 1, which gives you b equals 1 half. Great. So what does that mean? We didn't get anything for a. You know what that means? It means a can be anything. Anything you want. And we'll talk about the meaning of this in a little bit, right? So, but I'll still have to show you the second method. All right. After I show you the second method, I will convert this equation to another form so we can do something. Okay. Anyways, here's the second method. So for my second method, I'm going to think about the geometrical meaning because obviously complex numbers and geometry, I believe there's a book by that name. If I can find the link, I'll share with you. But definitely there's a lot of geometry that you can do with complex numbers because complex numbers can be considered vectors, right? Awesome. So here's our equation. And here's the geometrical meaning. First of all, let's talk about some definitions. And I believe this could be a topic for um, additional videos. So whenever you have something like the absolute value of z sub 1 minus z sub 2, think about this on the real axis, right? This would mean the distance between two numbers. And uh, in the complex world, it's the same thing. But z is... Z is two-dimensional, right? But it's, it doesn't matter. We can still talk about the distance, the shortest distance, obviously. So this is the distance between two complex numbers. And uh, we're going to replace z sub 1 with z and z sub 2 with i. So this is basically the distance between z and i. What about the zi? Great. Now, whenever you have a single number like uh, the absolute value of z sub 1, it just means distance from 0, right? Because you can write this as 
the absolute value of c sub 1 minus 0. You see, we have a solution for everything, right, <laughs> in math. So here's what is going on. We have a complex number z. Let's go ahead and do a little complex plane. I could probably give you a nicer graph, but I wanted to do a hand, hand graph. And we have a number z. I don't know where it is located, but I'm just going to assume that it's somewhere here. Okay. That's a different. Come on, I'm looking for a different color. So suppose this is our z, and I'm going to, that's my cat if you hear the noise. He likes to just jump around because he's a bad boy. Anyways, so that's my z. And where is I located? And I don't even know the magnitude of Z. So I'm, I'm going to have to make some assumptions, but it doesn't matter. So let's suppose I is here. Let's give us some room. So I is, as you know, one unit away from, you know, zero on the number line. This is real. I mean the argon plane. Sorry, I didn't say I mean number line. And um, we're talking about the distance between these two points. Okay, make sense? So here's the distance. Now that distance, I could probably make that line a little nicer let's erase it oops oh that's not good okay i probably need a okay <laughs> not very good with erasing stuff okay from a distance now so let's go ahead and connect these two with a straight line let's connect these with a straight line like this, okay. So that's going to be the distance, absolute value of z minus i. And then I have the distance from zi. Wait a minute, this is not zi though, this is z. Okay, here's what we can do. zi is multiplying by i actually rotates it in, uh, in the counter, not counter, clockwise direction, yes. If you multiply z by i, you're going to get this number, okay. That's my zi. You can check that with the a plus bi. And then now we're talking about the distance between this and zero. So in other words, this distance. But guess what? You can go ahead and turn this into a square. And that's actually going to be the same thing as the absolute value of z. And let me tell you why that works real quick. This is really nice. Now, if you think about the rules of absolute value, this can be written as the absolute value of z times the absolute value of i. And the absolute value of i is equal to 1. Therefore, this is the same as the absolute value of z. So I can totally forget about zi, which is not very pleasant in this case. Kind of like erase this and erase that. Erase this too, without erasing more. <laughs> okay. And then we can kind of go ahead and just think about this as the, dis the distance from z to 0 is the same as that. So in other words, these, this is absolute value of z. And I want these two lengths to be congruent. What does that mean? It just means that if I draw a horizontal line that passes through their intersection point, I need an equilateral. Wait a minute. That's not the right word. I saw this triangle. Yes. I saw triangles. In other words, these two points have to be the same distance to this horizontal line, which means it has to cut one in half, which is one half, which means the numbers that satisfy this equation must have an imaginary part of one half, which means if I have a plus b i as a solution, then b must be one half, which is what we found with the first solution. Yay. And obviously, on the coordinate system, you can graph it if you just replace a plus b i with x plus y i, right? then you're going to get y equals 1 half as the r locus. And that just indicates a horizontal line, as you know, that goes through y equals 1 half. And any number, any number z on this line is going to be a solution to our equation, the absolute value of z minus i equals the absolute value of z i. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.